Hello, I'm Norino Petro, Practice Management Advisor for the State Bar of Wisconsin Practice 411 Law Office Management Assistance Program. And I'm here today to talk to you about something that every lawyer needs at one point in time or another, whether they're in their office or they're traveling or even at home, and that's power. With today's bevy of electronic gadgets, it never fails that when you need it the most, you're going to turn it on and you'll get a low battery warning. And it never works out that it uses the same connector. Each device seems to have their own power cord and their own charger, and this can get to be very frustrating. Especially when you're traveling, you need to be able to depend on your electronic devices whenever you need them. So, a couple of things. First of all, I recommend that you get a small compact USB charger. Most devices come with a charger of some kind, but the manufacturers don't spend the money to make them as small and light as possible. This is from a company called 360 Electrical. This is a standard USB plug that would charge most devices. The prongs fold out and you can plug this into any 110 outlet that you can get access to and plug your USB cable into it. it provides a standard charge. It's not going to be sufficient on its own for a tablet or other device, but it's very easy to carry and put into a briefcase, a bag, or a purse. And it's generally going to be much smaller than the adapters that you'll get uh, with the device itself. So when we're out there and we're traveling, it's not always that convenient though to pull out a charger and plug it in a wall. If you've been in an airport, you'll see people sprawled on the floor and everywhere else fighting over a limited number of plugs. So what's a person to do? You know, it's one thing for a cell phone to have a small battery that you can take along, but when we start getting into things like tablets, this is a seven inch tablet, there's the 10 inch tablet, iPads are about 9.7, what do we do? Well, there is a series of batteries that are available from any number of manufacturers that allow you to take extra power along with you. This is a little product. This is from our favorite folks of the uh, Energizer line and the Energizer Bunny. This is called Energy to Go. This is their uh, X, uh, XP2000 model. Basically what this will do is it will charge a regular cell phone up to three times or a smartphone one time. It has a small cable that plugs in and it comes with a series of tips uh, for most products and they guarantee a free tip for as long as you own the device uh, if they don't include it in the package. So this product is generally going to be found for under $35. You can get them at Walmart or other stores. But what about tablets? What if we need to charge our phone more? What if we're going to be out in the backwoods of Wisconsin uh, where there's no power but we're meeting or we're camping but we want to we want to get our digital entertainment? Well. This is another battery product. This is from a company called Anchor. This product is a little larger. As you can see, this is uh, an HTC cell phone, uh, so a smartphone. It's one of the latest, so it's a 4.3 inch screen, equivalent in size, basically about the cell phone, and about twice as thick. Here's the interesting thing. You can charge two devices at once with this Anchor battery. It has enough power to uh, charge an iPad 3 or the new iPad at least once if not twice. Uh, add up to 40 hours of talk time to your iPhone or charge an iPhone six times. It works with not only the iPhone and iPad devices but also tablets and phones from other manufacturers. You also have the ability to output a 9 volt or 12 volt so if you have a car adapter that would plug into a cigarette lighter with a small plug you can plug it in here and use that to charge your device. Um, uses a wall charger to charge it. Charges up very quickly. On sale for $59 as we make this video. Normally it is about $80. This is a terrific standby battery to take with you so you never run out of power. But what about if you don't have the big battery and you've forgotten your tablet charger at home, what do you do? Well, there is a small device, and this really is small. This is a USB charging adapter. And basically what this does is you plug this into a USB port such as one like on the small power adapter and then you plug your tablet cord into this and what this little device does is it tells your tablet that hey there's really nothing else drawing on the USB so you can pull more amperage than would normally be output and it will charge the device. It might be a little slower than the full size charger but for under five dollars this is a great standby tool to have uh, so you don't have to break out that big power brick when you need to give your tablet device a charge. So the reality is 
These are great ways to keep power on the go. The anchor device comes with, as you can see, bags of tips of various kinds that you can travel with. But there is no reason for you to be without power while you're on the road, especially when you need it the most. So thanks for tuning in today, and we'll see you next time.